Hey guys, welcome back to techshan.com. Today we are going to check out Windows 8, which is the latest version of Windows operating system. Now, after losing its ground to Apple and Android uh, operating systems, the tablet and mobile market, uh, Microsoft has been working hard to get its stand back. Windows 8 is a result of that. Windows 8 is all about apps. Now, this is going to be really interesting. Microsoft has redesigned Windows 8 from the ground up to work across various types of hardwares and devices. Now, when I say redesign, yes, there's an all new interface called the Metro style. Uh, for a first time user of Windows 8, it might be very confusing. I know you might say, hey, I have been using Windows 98 to Windows 7. Mm -hmm. Okay, but wait, Windows 8 is no more the same. As said, it's redesigned with an all new Metro style interface. But until you see it and use it, it's really hard to understand how dramatic the changes in Windows 8. Actually, this is an operating system mainly designed for tablet. Uh, but according to Microsoft, they have claimed like it is also easy to use with a keyboard and mouse. Now, in this computer, I have in installed Windows 8. This is a core i7 with 16 GB RAM, 1 terabyte hard disk and uh, 120 GB of SATA 3 SSD. I have two NVIDIA 550GI graphic cards installed on this, so it's kind of a high-end PC. Now, I just bought an upgrade for Windows 8 because I had a Windows 7 and it just costed me Rs. 1999. Installation took about 25 minutes and it was fast. So enough of all this chit chat, let's have a look at Windows 8. So first thing you'll notice is that you're welcomed with this tile based interface which is the start and uh, you won't be taken to the old traditional desktop where uh, I mean which we are used to so these tiles are pretty nice and a uh, few of them support live tile which I tell you what it is and so what's this tiles all about what's this interface all about now Microsoft Windows 8 as I told you is all about apps Microsoft has an as an inbuilt store which is the Microsoft store from where you can download apps and install it right on your PC. There are various paid and free apps. Now at the moment the store is uh, less on apps but uh, since Windows 8 is out I, am, I guess more and more people and uh, developers will get their hands on Windows 8 and develop multiple apps. Now uh, apart from that you can also install your old uh, traditional software and your old applications which you have been using in Windows 7 uh, on Vista on Windows 8 from your disk or any other medium that you have and uh, well, let's have a look at the uh, Metro interface now every application you install or the apps that you download from the Microsoft Store uh, gets uh, pinned up to the start screen this is the start screen now I have downloaded on the left you will see all the apps that I have downloaded from the Microsoft Store. Now on the right is my uh, default applications that I have installed from my CD. Uh, so a few of them are like a couple of browsers and uh, Photoshop and uh, some softwares. Now let's look at the apps that I have downloaded. Now I have downloaded a couple of apps such as the uh, Currency Converter, the NDTV News app, the Google app, the YouTube app, uh, a couple of games such as uh, the Ninja, Fruit Ninja, Fresh Paint. Now, every app, as I told you, which I've downloaded, gets pinned up on the start, and a couple of them supports live tiles. And what I'm, what is live tiles? Now, let's take this weather app. Now, when I launched the weather app, uh, I have set my current location, which is Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Now, every time I don't have to launch the app to get updates on how the weather is. From the start screen, it it keeps updating the style with the latest information that's really nice and uh, the same applies to this currency app where the tile automatically updates between USD and INR and uh, the photos app which uh, I have a couple of photos loaded now uh, it just keeps changing and apart from that uh, this is a game uh, called Fruit Ninja which is quite famous uh, it updates with the latest score and all this stuff now let's first start off with the store this is the Microsoft Store where you can download paid as well as free apps uh, for which you need to have a Hotmail ID that's a Windows Live ID and uh, if you have it loaded with a credit card you can download paid apps if not you can download only free apps so it's interesting but it doesn't have many apps at the moment because it's just in the launch stage 
and uh, apart from that uh, the applications which I have installed is on the right let's launch another application uh, which is specifically designed for Windows 8 which is an NDTV app which is a news app uh, this is really nice keeps me up to date news. how do I close this app now how do I switch between apps now all you need to do is take your mouse to the left corner and you and here you'll see the opened apps like all the apps that I've opened uh, displays vertically so I just switch between apps it's pretty nice and pretty fast now when I want to exit a particular app I just pull from top down and that's it it's gone now we switch back to the uh, start screen take your mouse to the right and start yeah that's about it it's pretty nice and it's the interface is really smooth like I could see a, a major difference the major difference I see in Windows 8 is it's really smooth and it's really fast so that's something you're going to notice okay and uh, now as a regular day-to-day -day user it's uh, it's it's a huge learning curve and it's quite confusing I've been using it for two days and I should say I'm getting used to it uh, so okay now coming to the desktop now many of you might wonder where is my desktop which I have been using so long on my Windows uh, PC now Microsoft has not let us down now we have a tile called the desktop here which on click loads the desktop wow boom here we are now this is very similar to Windows 7 desktop but the only difference is that we you will find there is no start button up here no start button and uh, the rest of the things remain the same a couple of things have been redesigned like the ta uh, redesigned uh, like the task manager and uh, uh, the controls and all the stuff have been redesigned which uh, you can get your hands on and try it out any application that you want to launch you have to get back to the start screen now there are a couple of ways to get back to the start screen one is use your keyboard windows uh, uh, key another one is like from the charms menu on the right here and another one is there's a hotspot here where uh, on the left corner when you move your mouse you get this small bitmap image to start you just click on it and it takes you back to the start screen now from here you can launch applications the applications which you have installed from your media or which you have been using on Windows 7 uh, loads in the desktop mode that's the desktop environment so right now FCC I have launched Photoshop and it has opened up in the desktop mode. Now the apps that I have downloaded from the uh, Windows Store will run in the Metro interface. Like it, as you see, as you can see, uh, I'm launching this YouTube app. It takes up the full area and it has launched. Now how do I close this particular app or how do I uh, minimize or switch between apps? As I told you, on the left corner, you find this option when you move your mouse. How do I close this app? It's pretty simple. On the top, you take your mouse and just pull the app down. Boom. It's gone. It's closed. That's how it is. So, pretty simple, <laughs> yet confusing uh, for a first-time user. And uh, apart from that, it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, it has an all-new look and... Uh, let's see the charm let's just have a look at the charms menu uh, the charms menu has a couple of options now search share start device and settings here's the ch here's the charm menu on the right now search is you very useful when you want to search in between a particular app uh, when you're let's say I'm uh, let's say I'm in the NDTV app and I just want to search for a particular news I can do that using the search option uh, and the share I want to share a particular news it's very helpful from within the uh, app and the start uh, button is obviously to take you back to the start screen the device and settings and all those additional stuff are so uh, it's redesigned uh, as you can see where's the shutdown and start it's in the settings here you have this power option to shut down restart and uh, get your PC to the sleep mode change PC settings is to change the uh, couple of settings 
like the lock screen start uh, the user notifications and all the uh, default stuff it's completely uh, redesigned you can you can just get your hands on it the metro style interface is really clean very nice and it it gives you uh, up to date information about what's happening on your pc now uh, all your applications that you install on your pc you can pin it up to the start menu apart from that which you don't want to pin it up it's always available in the all applications now how do you go to the all applications now i have pinned up my important applications now what happens to the rest of the things that i have installed but i don't want it on my start screen now you just right click on your mouse and you find this all apps on the right hand corner you click on it and windows just brings up a nice uh, interface where you uh, find all the installed applications uh, in my case uh, it's kind of messy because i have a couple of uh, applications installed now how do you find now it's it, it becomes really tough when you have multiple applications now how that's really uh, something microsoft has worked out now all you need to do is just start typing when you're on the menu just start typing. you don't have to do anything just start typing the application name let's take uh, I just want to search for an application called Movie Maker. I just have MOVI and automatically it, it gets me the uh, application where I just click on it and launch the Movie Maker application. So, so this is a quick look on Windows 8. So if you want to get your hands on it, you can do it by uh, upgrading it from Microsoft.com where uh, the upgrade just costs about 1900 if you're, you're upgrading from uh, your previous version of Windows, which you need to own a legal copy. So overall, for a regular day-to-day -day Windows user, it's a huge learning curve. I've been using it for two days and uh, I should say I'm getting used to it. But hey, we need a change. We have been sticking with the old traditional uh, way of interacting with our PC for almost two decades. Uh, people using Windows 7, you still have time as Windows 7 is still a good operating system and does all what we need. When it comes to Windows 8, let's appreciate Microsoft and hope Microsoft comes up with more cool stuff in the near future. So this is the Windows 8, the latest version of Windows. Hope this video was informative. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to techshan.com as always for more tech stuff.